to today's segment, The Blame Game, hosted by yours truly, by Nancy Grace. Welcome to The Blame Game, the game where if you don't like it, it's probably your fault. Janet, the way this will work is our panel of angry but smiling white women will pick a scapegoat for an issue in America today. Let's introduce today's cast. First up, she's the Southern Christian conspiracy theorist who believes your manager will agree with her on anything. Welcome to the stage, Karen, about herself. Karen, it's all your fault. How are you? It's all your fault by Nancy Grace. Ha. I just dyed my hair this color to be the same color as my teenage daughter. She's got tits and a boyfriend now. They grow up so fast. Thanks, Karen. Oh. Next up, she's the Upper East Side chain smoker who just posted to Twitter that she has a PhD in formal racism. Welcome to the stage, Rose Roseman. It's all your fault, Rose. How are you? It's all your fault by Nancy Grace. You know, you may know that I'm Jewish, but you may not know that I am also 2% Cherokee. That's 2% Cherokee. So I know what it's like to be a minority in America today. I also hate my freaking husband. Just saying, just saying. Thank you, Rose. Ugh. Lastly, our judge for this contest. She's the former Alaskan governor, vice presidential candidate, and MILF. We only have on the show because our producer is desperate to one day meet Tina Fey. Welcome to the stage, Sarah Palin. Sarah, it's all your fault. How are you? It's all your fault, my Nancy Grace. My fellow Americans, we have a saying up in Alaska. What's the difference between a hockey mom and a pit bull? Thanks, Sarah, that's enough. We only have five minutes for this sketch, and I wasted half of that on the intro. Let's get into our first topic for today. Our first topic today, who is to blame for our daughters having low self-esteem? Is it black women having perfect skin, or is it homosexuals? being too good at makeup. First up, let's go with Rose. My poor little girl has white heads. And not the good kind of white head that you get from the poor boy at the Hamptons. How is she supposed to find a nice Jewish man when there are all of these beautiful black women with perfect skin? I mean, that's privilege if I've ever heard it. Thanks, Rose. Next up, we have Karen. Karen, are there any homosexuals in particular who are causing your daughter to have low self-esteem? This is the homosexual known as Lucinda Puss. As you can see, she's got big hair and a fuckable mouth. Meanwhile, all I got is split ends and a case of take two herpes. You know, my Valtrex is working plenty good these days. But how the hell am I supposed to find a nice Christian man to put some Christian halfwoods in my pink panther when there are kitties like this strutting the streets, y'all? That concludes our segment for today. Now on to Sarah for the judgment. We've consulted with our team of Alaskan Malamutes, and we have determined the winner to be... Ooh, sorry, Sarah. That we are out of time. Foxy News. Uh, selling sex. And elections. <laughs>